All right, so we're going to make um, some cookies. I have promised you this video, and I just went over the thing. So I just drew, I drew an egg. So we're going to do a small cookie, and I have a couple already, like, cut out, but for all intents and purposes, I will do these. So you can do whatever color you want. I wasn't sure where my blue felt was, so I'm glad I have lint roller. I, I just moved back to the basement for this. I don't have one. So let's get this look. No, I don't have one. Whatever. All right. You just, I like to keep a lint roller handy, but I don't have one. So we're going to just go with it. <clears throat> so you're going to take your back foam core and your front foam core and then your icing sheet. Um, let's get a ruler so you can figure it all out on your own. Okay, so this is a ruler. You can get them at Walmart, uh, Joanne, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. Um, it'll be in the fabric section. So you're going to take your I was ready, y'all. Okay. We're going to make a small bunny and an egg today. I did. So these are all my patterns. I'm going to go over that in a second. Um, I actually just grabbed some felt squares. Um, I had these from, I don't even know, but I don't typically use felt squares because I use so many, like I make so much that I buy stuff by the yard or by the bolt but this is great if you're only going to make like one so i grabbed this is pink um and i know the lights are weird i'm in the basement so i grabbed this mint green um i've i've never done the mint green and it doesn't come on the the bolt at joanne which is where i get it and then i have this like purple color so i'm going to do the mint and the pink today i also have the blue but i just wanted to show you like different colored options originally i was going to do like a lime green but um these seem to be pretty popular colors, so that's what we're going to go with today. You make them whatever color you want. Uh, these are my sprinkles. These are from a place local to me. You can get it online, though. This is from Buttons Galore More. I will put a like thing of what I use. My Rick Rack is, there's Rick Rack from Hobby Lobby. Um, this is for the pink. It's a pretty decent match. And then I don't have mint, so I have just white, medium Rick Rack. I believe this one is from Walmart, but you get it from, you can get it from Joanne. You can get it from Hobby Lobby. You can get white, um, sometimes the Dollar Tree this time of year. Um, but anyway, this is the thing. I'll put it in the description. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your egg pattern this is, I believe it's 10 inches. So it's 10 inches, just shy of 10 inches by six and a half. So it's 10 by six and a half, like a little. So I write all over mine. Um, I have to ask my husband. I'll scan it all in. And if you guys want it, um, I'll put it up on my Shopify. So basically all you want to do is you have your cookie and then to make this the back, which you need, you can either, because this is up to you how you do it, um, double this, double it, and then put um, like a like a ribbon or something on the sides. I've never done that, so maybe we should try that. I don't know. Um, but this is how I, I learned it. So you're going to do the egg. It's a half an inch smaller than the side. So you're going to just do a half an inch all the way around. Um, and that's pretty much it. You do pipe cleaners. If you want to do pipe cleaners, a lot of people don't use the pipe cleaners. So today I'm not going to show you the pipe cleaners. Um, I also have a foam cooler cut out uh, for the top. Because um, usually I'll do my patterns in poster board. So this is able so I can pin it to 
the batting. And I don't know. Oh, I do have some. Woohoo! So I just used batting. Uh, this is the this is batting from Joann's. I'll put in the one that I had to go to because I think they don't make this one anymore or it just like got fluffier. So I use one layer and then one and a half. It's, it's really personal preference how much you layer it. Um, but that's the one I like to use for my sugar cookies. So I'll take it and I just kind of like line it up. And I put a little pin in it. And then I just cut around the edge so we'll do that and I cut a little bit extra only because I wanted to cover the side of the uh, thing and I noticed like as I did the cookies more and more when I went to roll it up you'll see I wanted that extra all right so there you have that. We'll set that aside. All right. So then your top and your bottom to your felt is going to be, it's antique white felt is the color that I use for cookies. Um, you're going to take it, place it on a piece of paper, and then you're going to trace, I believe this one is an inch and a half. Nope, inch and a quarter. So I like an inch and a quarter all the way around. You're just going to go all the way around. Mark your paper, blah, blah, blah. The back, I do what I do one inch on the back. Draw it out an inch. You can literally just lay it out and not measure. That's it's it's totally up to you. So since we're gonna do two colors, let's do cookies. I did clean off my whole table today, so that's good. Put the blue away. <clears throat> Honestly, it's a simple project. Um, very inexpensive if you do it yourself. But for me, I you know I have to charge my time and what it's worth for me to do them. There's a whole bunch of people that do these. I'm not really worried about it. So y'all do and buy who you want to buy from. You know what I mean? Like it it really doesn't matter. So we're going to go, normally I would take my, this is this, this is the regular one. So I take this and I poke two holes in it um, for the pipe. And then you'll do two. Trace it around. And last year I made quite a bit of these, so I'm just, I really don't like the sprinkle part of it. I'm not going to lie. That's why I don't really want to make them. Um, so then you would match it. Uh, and this is going to be the back. But you want to wrap this facing up. So you're going to wrap it differently than you wrap the front. So you're going to do back side up. And the front, you're going to do front side down. Front side down so this is going to go face down this is going to stay face up let me turn the auto focus off hold on let's see all right so hopefully it won't keep focusing in and out i'm sorry about that okay so then i take this is the cutter i like to use this one's from amazon it is a dat i will link it below um i just I prefer it. I've tried all different ones and that's the one I keep coming back to. So you think if you make them this size, uh, you can definitely get two uh, cookies out of a, a piece of foam belt. And these are what, like 50 cents or something like that. So I just take it, I cut around. Oh, I want to make sure you can see it. And that's, that's all you do. You just literally cut around. Some people use the foam cutters. I, I just honestly, I, I don't prefer them. It's just, I use this or an exacto knife. But I, I actually really like this. I was going to order another. Ah, I was going to order another one. 
I just stabbed myself with it off of Amazon, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Because I work out of two two places in my house. I work out of the, the basement and my craft room upstairs. So, all right. Don't poke yourself. Well, that's the first time I've ever poked myself with this one. Not usually. And I'll show you what's great about this one is the way you take the cutter and take it off is it's pretty cool. So it's uh, adjustable, but I like the, the slant to it. So you just take the end and there's a little like slit here and you slip it on and then snap it off. It's really, really cool. It comes with like a ton of replacement blades. Um, I just really like it. And usually <laughs> I'll show you my trick. Usually this is the length of the foam core. So you only have to have one out. Just say it. So we're going to cut this one as well. Sorry, I'm right handed. I probably should have had the <clears throat> thing on the other side, but learning curve. And I have to go to Home Depot because if I'm going to be doing regular videos, I want to get a white mat, but they don't make a white. Well, they do. It's just super expensive. And that's it. Um, you can, we'll go over it in the beginning. So let's just put this. Focus, All right, so I'll show you one. We're going to do the, let's do the mint one because it's different. So what's cool about this is I will, I think this one is from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. It's a bit see-through. So you have your batting. I don't have my stuff down here. <laughs> so what I do is I actually spray this with a little spray adhesive so it sticks to this. I spray uh, the back a little bit over the trash can. You want to spray the foam core. Um, this is what I use <clears throat> all purpose. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, <clears throat> press it down for a few seconds. Call it a day. So then I'll take my antique white. This um, is just a piece that was already cut up. If I'm making two. I'll fold it over and cut two at the same time. So we'll do that today. And this way, if you're going to do alternate colors, you do whatever you want to do. So just take your scissors and cut to the edge. I'll have to like mark my table so I know where to and I do the backs the same color um, just because I buy a bolt of this specific color at a time so a lot of my stuff has this color on the back um, you just throw out the extra don't keep it and then I, think I label I label all of my things um, and the date I made them. So I made them actually this time last year. So I don't need this anymore. I don't need my patterns anymore. I have a habit of losing them. <clears throat> That's why I'm giving you my example. <laughs> so I'm just going to set that aside. I'm going to fold this over so I get two. Perfect. So we're going to do two. Um. 
Let me just throw the rest of them. These are just the shapes I like that I started with. It is what it is, right, y'all? So I'm going to put that in there. I think I'll make... Oh, this is for the big one. That's what that one is. I'm like, why does that look so different? Purple. I don't know. All right. So let's do... We're going to do just one for the video. So you're going to put all this away because you don't need it. I'll put my extra in the bag as well. So then I know I have... One left over. I had planned to do one ahead of time. Uh, and then you just, so you're going to take this and you're going to place this down. I don't spray this. Um, you can if you want to. You can choose to fold your sides regular, uh, just like that, and just go all the way around. Um, I don't do it that way. So I have my sure monitor. So I just clip, I do about an inch, uh, it's up to you. And you want to do the whole thing all the way. You don't want to cut this part off. So it's on low temperature. Um, I believe these sticks are, I think that one is actually, uh, what's it called, <laughs> Gorilla Glue. Um, but this is the one I like, but they don't sell it anymore, so I'm like almost out. So you just kind of cut your little strips, cut your glue, and come up. And then just hold it for a second. And then just keep going around. See how it's... Just got myself. There's a little bit, which is fine, because um, you're not cutting all the way. You're just cutting a little bit, so that way when you pull it over, there's a little bit of an um, an empty, not cut space, I guess you could say. And that's how I do it. And you just go all the way around. I don't know why that's particularly hot and it's on low and you just want to kind of pull a little bit pull it up and over and that's and then just hold it down a little bit and then yeah it's I don't know why it's hot usually it sticks right away with the low temp I think because there's nothing else connected down here just hold it for a minute. It dries pretty fast. You just want it to catch. That's it. Just hold it a little bit. So this is good. You can just either clip these off, the little tabs are just kind of like push them down so they catch. That's it. So we're gonna leave that to the side. And then this says the back side up. <clears throat> and I do. So this is the back. I'm going to do the same thing. Take two pieces. Take the bins.
then you take the back. I, I don't particularly care which side of the felt is up. It really just depends on the texture and what I think is going to glue best. So this side is a little bit rougher, so um, I think the wreath makers will have a better time adhering it that way. But I think both ways works just fine. So you're going to take this one. Try my little glue gun and see, because that one was really hot. You're just going to do like a quarter of an inch. Yeah, bubble in as well and then you're just gonna flip it up you don't want to do the whole thing if you don't want to it doesn't sorry use whatever you want to use the small glue sticks I use shore bonder and sometimes um, there you go This is boring. And then you're just folding it up. So you're going to go right over that back side up. I meant to go over that, sorry. So the side you traced out is the side that's going to be facing up, and the side you traced out is going to be the side that faces down on your top of your cookie. So we're going to let this dry a little bit. Oh, I love these. I can't get them anymore. These ones are so expensive, but they're so good. These Westcott ones, I'm going to use those. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll just put that aside. Let me wrap another one. I have another little bit of... I have another wee bit of batting, and then I have an, enough to do the bunny down here. I bought more yesterday, but it's upstairs. I forgot. Everything is upstairs. I've been thinking about moving back to the basement so I could, like, decorate upstairs. Oh no. The basement's cold, wet, there's no light, can't see the... so we're going to hope for the best with this next step. Um, I usually use a box or I just go outside and spray it. Um, this is what I use for the felt. It is the high strength con contact adhesive. Um, it does have a smell so that's why I spray it outside. I'm in the basement uh, so and it does come out um, like stringy. It's like a thicker adhesive spray. There's like uh, particles in it so it'll attach to the foam. I like it better because Hot glue, if you just use hot glue, um, you see the hot glue through the felt because it's not really thick. And this gives it a nice, good strength. So I just spray the back of my felt, put it on, and it stays. <laughs> so this is what it'll look like when you have it on. And then you just kind of place it on your egg like kind of in the center and then the sides will be up I just put glue around the sides um, try not to get it on your fingers it's like like super glue if you get it on your fingers forget it <laughs> um, so yeah kind of put it down press it and it'll it'll go so while I wait for that I'm gonna um, hot glue the back I had to go fill it up all right so we filled it up just singe the edge just seals the the end of it 
So here's what we're going to do. Now the hot glue is heated. You only want to put hot glue on this part. Not on the top, but on the bottom. All right. So we're going to put glue all over. Press it and hold it. Flip it over and hold it till it dries. Okay? Till it dries. All right, so we'll do white first because that's the one I went with. It's a little bit wider. Um, if I had the opportunity, I would probably go get a smaller one. This is literally just all I've got. <clears throat> so you're just going to slowly do the glue on there. Put it down on the edge of the felt. I don't think. And that's it. And then you're just going to do that all the way around. Don't put it on this part because then, you know, if it's not on that part and then you just follow the curve. I just hold it down. I'm using this other you know you'll have like different glue guns for different things. <laughs> I don't even know. <sighs> it's also why I like to have a lint roller. I'm not lying to myself. Off. Make sure you seal that edge. I want one of this size with a detailed tip. That's what I need to order. All right. So put that aside. All right, so there's two eggs. Um, there's a place on Etsy that sells colored rickrack. I will find it and mention it. All right, so now we're going to go to the sprinkles. It's that easy. I actually switched to this uh, quick dry tacky glue because I like the tip. Uh, this tip is amazing. I did just order this on Amazon, this particular brand but I'm not sure this is really old like super old but anyway so my daughter taught me this trick because last year I did I, was, I don't know get a little OCD in you and not for everything but if you put your sprinkles out on something make sure it's something that you can like pour back in so anyway so I have these I don't I think these came from the same place I'm not really sure um, I've had them since last year, but these are the ones I used last year, so we'll go through with these. Um, so there's those, and then these ones are cute because they have little, like, bunnies and stuff all over them. I love them. So Giselle taught me to literally, this is how, because I would take forever. She did, like, six sugar cookies in, like, no time. I had asked her to do these, but she got COVID, so she can't do them. Do dots, 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 dots dots and then you put them down because the, the glue dries pretty quickly and I just place them and I really like last year I cared about like how many I had like which one honestly y'all do you right just do do you there's like little baby chicks in here it's super cute Stars. Tip of it. That's off. 
and then do as many sprinkles as you want. This is why it takes me so long. Okay. So there you go. You have two sugar cookies. Ta-da! <clears throat>